Yo, 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 it's your boy Black Goat. Where's my YouTube channel says? Black Goat, Jesus. Now then, uh, I'm kind of annoyed because I already made part two, but my computer just decided that it didn't want to work and it was a 30 minute, 35 minute video. So now I gotta restart and do it again. <laughs> I don't really want to, but anyways, let's get going. Uh, let's see, uh, less guys dating, female, uh, guys are getting tired of females, they're insane standards. Uh, <clears throat> And basically, they're tired of getting told that they only want economically attractive men, or that they freaking want, um, uh, I can't think of a word, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm sorry for this unprofessionalism. I'm just a little annoyed because 30 minutes of my life wasted and has gone by. But anyways, <laughs> uh, double standards, uh, that's another thing guys are getting tired of. We have insane double standards. Today's females can get into a marriage uh, with a loyal, uh, rich man, a nice man as well. Uh, and then she can take half of his shit plus more uh, especially if he has, if they have kids, even though she didn't make any of that money, uh, she's entitled to that, and, uh, she can leave him just for being nice, like, I think I've, I don't think I've read, uh, put them on the channel, but I've literally read articles that, uh, females are basically, they either divorce their husband because they're too nice, they cheat on their husband because they're too nice, or they want their husband or boyfriend to cheat because they're too nice, and what they also don't say is that they feel bad that they cheat on these guys behind their backs, that's why they want them to cheat, so they can feel better about themselves. That's what a lot of these females in these articles don't say because they don't want to come off promiscuous. But well, let's be honest, us red pill men know the truth. Duh, catching on false allegations. Uh, guys are catching up to that shit. Uh, more guys are saying, you know what, well, why would I want to risk asking, why would I want to risk dating a woman or marrying a woman when she can also use false allegations like rape or uh, abuse to get uh, to basically guarantee that she will get resources in the divorce, especially with public opinion. Uh, not to mention, uh, these females, they say that uh, when certain men come up to them, they, which has happened, but it's not like it happens every day. Well, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but these females are basically <clears throat> saying that one man raped them or sexually harassed them. Meanwhile, the guy that's taking advantage of them, uh, they don't say nothing about that. Another thing I noticed, there's a lot of white women, mostly white women, using the hashtag me too. Yeah, you have those few black women out there, but you know, it's funny, you don't hear women uh, hashtag me tooing uh, the wanted drug dealer with the face tats all over his face that has pounds of marijuana and other drugs. You don't hear women me hashtag me tooing those guys. Instead, we hear uh, kids getting me tooed. Instead, we hear nice men getting me tooed. Instead, we hear guys that are just trying to freaking adapt to females freaking insane standards yeah we got those guys getting me too instead of the face tatted Chad and Tyrone or the freaking Chad and Tyrone that's uh, 
that owns a business and he's doing illegal shit like stealing money or some shit these females aren't hashtag mean to and most of that guys i hear more nice men or good men or honest men getting me too than bad men so was that me too movement worth it women was it worth it because now ceos don't even want to risk being near you alone which means you can't get you can't use your chest your cleavage you can't uh bend over and uh let them see some of that panty action uh anymore to get a uh to get a job or to get a raise because let's be honest that's what some of these females are doing uh shoot the past like 40 50 years living life on easy mode just sleeping their way up to the top instead of actually busting their ass uh there are a few females that do that though so shout out to the females that actually bust their ass to get to the position that they're in instead of just sucking some guy off or spreading their legs uh the realization of men leaving the plantation uh females are gonna realize this but uh by the time they realize it uh <laughs> they're all gonna be hitting the wall they're all they're all gonna be at the wall they're all gonna be single mothers so these females are gonna realize how bad they fucked up after they've hit the wall after they realize that every man they come into uh and i don't mean that literally <laughs> every man that they freaking bump into uh whether he's red pill purple pill or even blue pill aren't interested in married you know it's bad when blue pill men don't want to risk getting married that's how you know it's bad uh realizing the truth of divorce a lot of guys see their friends favorite celebrities dad uncle cousin you name it they see them go through a divorce and maybe the female was maybe the female was the crazy one maybe she was the abusive one because let's be honest uh most of these females in today's society are the crazy ones abusing and cheating in relationships and then they're still getting rewarded half of a man's income plus more if they have kids plus lawyer fees and taxes and all that shit i'm glad i will never have to experience any of that thanks to you red pill bastards so shout out to you and hopefully you've already hit this like button because uh, we're eight minutes in <laughs> but uh an impact these are part of my notes and they're also <clears throat> red pill predictions some of them accurate and some of them who knows let's see uh we'll just have to wait and see until time you know unfolds uh there's obviously going to be a lot of women approaching the wall lonely because all these females when they have the youth and fertility uh when they can walk up and almost get a, into a relationship with any guy when they get when they're when they're able to get like hundreds and thousands of freaking uh swipes on tinder uh, these are the females looking for the three percent men which is basically the 666 guy the six figure income over six feet tall six pack abs and probably have six different wives who knows but the problem with that mindset, and especially when 80 to 90% of all women, uh, whether they're hot, average, below average, or not even attractive at all, they all want that guy. And they don't realize why they can't get that guy. I mean, they can get him in his hands, but they can't get him to freaking put a ring on it. Why? Because this guy has unlimited selection. He has way too many females with your mindset trying to get at him, throw nudes at him, blow him up on Tinder, and do other things just to get his attention. So he doesn't have to marry or settle down. He can use your guys' body for fun and for free. And you females just refuse to let that just get into your head 
you just have to tell yourself something else. You just have to convince yourself that you're the one. When there's always a female hotter, there's always a female younger. So guess what? If you're a 21 year, 21 year old female, uh, you're competing against uh, uh, 20, 19, 18 year old female. And each year you're getting older and older and your value is going down. And especially if you're letting yourself get run through by multiple rich men, whether one by one or, uh, you know, gangbangs and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, women are going to be approaching the world only. Uh, married to a man they don't love. This is something that they've already been doing for decades. These females, they get ran through by the bad boys. Uh, by the guys they're really attracted to and then they marry guys that they wouldn't they would have never gave the time of day when they were 21 and the worst part is they don't uh those guys that marry these females they don't get the same personality they don't get the same submissiveness and they don't get the same uh consistent enthusiastic happy sex that they would, uh, that Ty Chad and Tyrone got for free. You might have one woman, you might have a few women that do that, but overall, most of these ran through females uh, that are married to beta men, uh, they're beta men, they're getting no sex. Uh, they might, they'll be lucky if they get sex once a year. Imagine paying full price for something another guy got for free. And not to mention, you don't get the enthusiasm of sex. You don't get, uh, you don't get prepared meals waiting for you at home. Uh, you don't get blow jobs anytime you want. Imagine paying full price for something like that. Unbelievable. And these females who want to wonder why men don't want to get married, because you females bait and switch. You females act like you're perfect and sweet until we slide that ring on the finger or until we show commitment or show our feelings towards you then you want to bait and switch then you want to cheat then you want to basically throw everything into the relationship down the shitters which will come back to bite you on the ass for some women it doesn't but for a lot it will <laughs> now then uh this is interesting. Shame, uh, shaming tactic. Women will basically shame the trans community. I made a prediction video where basically I was saying 10 to 20 years from now, the transgender community is going to explode, especially with all these kids learning about multiple genders, uh, lesbianism, gayism at the age of five or six. Shoot, I didn't even know what the word gay meant when I was nine. Meanwhile, these kids are out here. They're they're freaking. They know what what it means to be gay. They know what it means to be trans. Uh, they're changing their genders, and they're doing stuff like that. But uh, these same females who protected the transgender community when men were trying to say this isn't right. These same females are going to be shaming the transgender community 10 to 30 years from now when all the transgenders are stealing their beta men, their beta orbiters that help them live life on creative mode. Because let's be honest, if it wasn't for beta men, these females wouldn't be getting free meals, free rides, free anything. And then they would for they would basically they would be forced to either A be women or B die die alone. That would be their only two options. Uh, if all men were freaking beta or thirsty or paying these females without even getting anything in return. But that's slowly happening. And the transgender community will help things. Which is why I also which is why I support them. I don't support the fact that they're freaking trying to teach kids about transgenderism. Uh, K 
kids shouldn't even know what the word transgender is. Uh, the word transgender is uh, what kids. I think they should teach kids about transgenderism in the grades in middle school or high school, but elementary, no. Uh, that's that's the only problem I'm really having with the transgender community right now. There might be some. Uh, a few small things that they do also that society doesn't like but it's not as bad as what these hoes are doing but anyways these these uh, transgenders are gonna be getting shamed by women because they're stealing all the beta orbiters they're stealing all shoot they might even be stealing the three percent men that these females want which I would think is absolutely hilarious so I, I hope I just hope it happens, just so these females can be mad, <laughs> knowing they can't get a 3% man. Uh, but yeah, dudes, that, it's going to get real interesting in the next few decades when women are running out of beta orbiters or nice men to take them out on free dates because these transgenders... I'm sure there's going to be a few dysfunctional or manipulating or cheating transgenders, but most of them, they're going to be the versions of females, what they should be. They're still going to have that, and what makes it better is that they're, they're still going to have that logical male part of the brain. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, man, you don't have to deal with freaking pregnancy or child support but uh these transgenders are going to be uh stealing those their men because they have better personalities they look better they act nicer and they don't they don't use nice guys for freaking free meals and shit like that. I'm sure there are tr transgenders out there doing that now, and I'm sure there will be more doing that, but you're gonna have your small population of transgenders who are uh, manipulating, using men, uh, and then you're gonna have your large population of freaking transgenders who just wanna be in a relationship, who just don't wanna be lonely, uh, and they look like a eight or a seven or a nine on the female on the scale of female looks, and they're willing to set it, settle for an average guy. Some men doubt me, but I'm telling you guys, uh, beta males can only get rejected for so long. Uh, why would these beta males want to continue to get rejected and used? when they can get into a marriage or a long-term relationship with a transgender woman and who could be average or above average looking in terms of female or feminine looks why would a beta male continue to do that uh, some guys think these beta males are just gonna let themselves get rejected over and over meanwhile they can just get into a relationship with a transgender woman who's as just as hot as most of these females that they're getting used and manipulated by except they have personality they're willing to give consistent sex but uh yeah I can't I can't wait till the trans community blows up man it's gonna be real interesting <laughs> these transgenders are gonna be stealing their men uh, attention and a validation uh, and resources marriages uh, and yeah that's basically it so yeah uh, there's gonna be I, I can see what happening in the future and I one thing I didn't even think about the freaking sex bots and uh, artificial womb so not to mention men won't need women to have kids they can get into relationships with uh, trans women and have 
uh, use the artificial womb to have kids. And it's not like men can do this, women, uh, lesbians can do this, uh, whatever gender is out there can do this. So it's not like men can just, it's not like there's a benefit of just men having kids without women. Women can have kids without men. The only difference is, <laughs> uh, you know, there's a major difference, you know, because uh, women depend on men's protection. Females can't protect each other physically, not the way men can. <clears throat> but anyways, my notes basically saying uh, this is basically a prediction, but multiple women roommating just because they can't find men or get into relationships, but it's also going to be due to their insane standards that only few men can meet because every woman thinks she deserves the best when she's not in, in when in actuality thanks to feminism she's not entitled to anything but these females don't realize that lesbianism skyrocketing skyrocketing and not because females are done of men or done with men it's because females can't get with the men that they specifically want so that's why these females are going to be getting into relationships or being into roommate situations or marriages with each other which I completely support because <clears throat> there will be more lesbian divorces uh, which is a good thing because more the more females that know what it's like to go, uh, the more females that know what it's like to be a man in a divorce, <laughs> I can't talk. The more females that know what it's like to be a man in a divorce court will basically, uh, the, the sooner the laws will change, uh, the marital laws. I don't know how female and female divorces work out, but honestly, I can see them being equal the way that they should be either that or whichever female is the biggest victim wins the divorce that's how I see divorce or a lesbian divorce working and then also in my note yeah like I just said potential law changes so yeah the more of these females that know what it's like to get divorce raped have all of their reason all or half of their resources stolen from some bitch uh, sooner laws will change because uh, the way things are now you would have to be out of your mind to get married and the last thing of my notes they're kind of not related to the video but I was kind of throw them in but it was like uh, three to four reasons why guys should wait until even thinking or considering about marriage until they hit the age of 45. So wait until you have 30 to 50, have sex with 30 to 50 females. And once you do, you'll notice that they're all the same. Uh, some of them do better. Some of them have better personalities. Uh, some of them worse. Uh, some of them are some are more chill and laid back, some are more social, you get what I'm saying. Uh, but once you have sex with 30 to 50 different females, you'll see that they're all the same, really. And what's the point of being in a relationship, uh, a freaking long-term marriage or relationship with these females, especially when they can turn around and say that you abuse them or rape them or sexually harass them apparently that's a thing uh, even though you're married to them or whatever and then they can they could use that as ammo to win uh, a divorce guarantee against the men but yeah just wait till you you've had sex with 30 to 50 females uh, you also build sexual experience 
which is something that females. When was the last time you heard a female wanting a male virgin? The only time a female might want a male virgin if it's that male virgin has freaking a lot of resources. Let's be honest here. Uh, wealth building. Basically, find your passion. Uh, develop that shit over the years. You you will freaking eventually find something that you're good at within 20 to 30 years. Depending on the age you're watching this video. So you might have already found it, which uh, salute to you, sir. Uh, but to all my younger guys, to all the guys that are around my age, uh, yeah, just find your passion, develop it, focus on it, work, uh, con work on it consistently. And eventually, uh, shoot, women will even gravitate towards you because they can sense, they can feel that you're a man with purpose, you're a man focusing on himself and women like that, they don't want guys who are just thinking about pussy 24-7 all the time, hell no unless, like I said they're rich <laughs> uh, self-discovery, you know learn things about yourself some things you might know not, not might not know uh, I've learned a lot of things about myself over the years uh, over these three years of being red pill and consistently watching red pill information uh, I learned a lot of things and you can learn things about yourself too and you know like I said you might learn things you never knew but anyways, that's the end of this video, and hopefully it doesn't mess up so I don't have to do this a third time. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.